This week, a trip to Las Vegas starts off fun, but soon turns into, well, one of the most difficult weeks of our lives. This has been one of the most difficult videos I've ever had to put together, but here is the story of how an airline came to our rescue after our world came close to collapsing. Our journey begins here in Phoenix, well, when we eventually get the Tesla going, at least. Now, what's it doing? This is just ridiculous. What? This is the future. You can't even get the car. No, what's, what was that noise? You get the thing. Ooh, there we go. Yes, it's doing it. Yes, yes. Well, there was a guy behind me. <laughs> I didn't hit him, did I? Okay. Right, we're off. I uh, right. We've got one of these booked for one of our next trips. I'm cancelling it and getting an F-150. <laughs> And all the error messages that keep coming up as well. This is ridiculous. Anyway, good morning, guys. Good morning. We're on the road, finally. But we're going to get rid of this heap of junk car. This Tesla Model Y, as in why did I choose a Tesla? Because it's crap. And um, we're going to go, and we're flying today on an airline called JSX, who purportedly give you a private jet experience but it's an airline that it flies like a private jet type thing. It's not a private jet, it's an Embraer, but so then, oh, that cactus looks like a willy. Um, look, that cactus over there, look. Look, look, look. Okay, dead, that cactus. It looks like a willy. Um, so we're off to um, the airport. We're gonna fly on JSX today, over to Vegas, maybe, because we're going to see a concert tonight. All right, so we finally dropped the heap of junk Tesla back. Um, <laughs> that's, it's their problem now. Um, and we are waiting for um, a car to come and pick us up and take us. First rule of flying JSX is they don't go to the actual main terminal. You fly from the FBO, which is really, really cool. You've flown from the FBO a few times with me in the, yeah. in the Cirrus and stuff, haven't you? So we're waiting for a car to come and pick us up. And um, I'm using an app called Waymo, which is a Phoenix thing. It's a new thing they've got here. Um, and apparently, um, well, the driver is quite nice because they don't actually talk your ear off, so that should be quite nice. This is that driverless thing, isn't it? Oh, good lord. <laughs> Got MP on the top. Look! Whoa! Where's a Jaguar as well? It said, hey there, Noel. Hey there, Noel. Good morning. Morning, Carl. Can you take us to JSX, please? Press start, right? Oh, go on then. Press start, ride. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. Oh, my God. Here we go. <laughs> this is cool. No, it's not very gentle. Here we go. <laughs> what do you reckon? Um, This is... Gary is what's it right wow, now. Look at this log, it's driving itself. <laughs> it's a bit, um, you know, he's a bit vigorous, Mr. Nobody sat there. That's so cool. This is the future, Rach. So it's telling us there, so we can play, we can play music, look. Play music, no, I'm not gonna play music because I get copyrighted if I do that. Entering slow zone, okay. Just driving itself, I mean, this is, this is nice. I'm loving the fact you don't have to talk to somebody, that's quite nice. And it seems to be good at following the traffic rules. Oh, we're turning right on a red light. There we go. As we can in America, because we're in, we have amazing traffic laws like that over here. It's like the only one I know of. But so it reflects that screen on here. Yeah. So you can Arriving see what in doing. three minutes at 10:21 a.m. Okay. This is scaring them. Is it? it out. Really? Yeah. Because this is just. It's in here, mate. It's in here. It's this one. Oh god, there's JSX. Where's it going right down us? here. This isn't where I wanted to go. Oh, god. Oh, hang on, no, it's taking oh. us in this one here. So... Oh god. <laughs> oh no, we're going down there now. Look, there we go. Oh no, it is taking us to JSX. Look. Just in a different, Just in a different way. Keep going, mate. And a bit further forward, where that red plane is over there. It says JSX on it. Keep going, a bit more, a bit more. See, so look at that old-fashioned taxi there, look, with the driver and everything. There we go, JSX. And there is the plane. Where are we going now? Stop in here, look. Stop in here. Finding a spot to pull over. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, driver. Thank you. Sure it's clear before exiting. Don't forget any items in the I don't have to tip. Even better. 
Thank you, driver. Look at that, look. Off he goes. Bye. <laughs> How cool is that, Rach? <laughs> she didn't like it. Rach didn't like it. Anyway, here we are at JSX. There is our plane for today. An Embraer. I think it's that one. It might be that one. It might be another one. We're here at JSX anyway to take our ride across to Vegas. <sighs> Let's go and um, get inside and get checked in. Checking in, please, yeah, for Vegas. Uh, so I'll take your ID. Thank you. Both. We'll get to Vegas. We'll get an actual normal Uber when we get there. I yes, think. please, please, let's just get a normal. <laughs> With a guy. Like, can we just get a normal Toyota Camry? Yeah, no that'll deal. do. Yeah. Just like Camry. <laughs> well, perfect. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. Thank Lovely. you. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. All right, then all checked in for our flight on JSX. These are quite nice, aren't they? What do you reckon? Mm, they're good. Very nice. You check in here at this like the, the FBO, which is where all the private flights go from, and it's, it's it's quite nice here at Phoenix. It's quite a nice lounge experience. It's like being in the actual lounge, isn't it? Yeah. Like going, to, but there's none of the whole hassle of having to go through TSA and deal with throngs of people and walking miles through the airport. You just literally walk in here and then straight out to the plane. Really good, and for you that's pretty cool as well. Yes. It means you're not having to rely on sort of a ton of airport assistance and stuff here, are you? you no, they've, sort of... they've been really good and they've already said that they're going to sort out ramp and things like that for me to get onto the plane, so... Well, that's nice. That'd be nice. Yeah. And what the bathroom's like? You've just done the loo review, what are they like? Um, it, 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 the, it's really nice. Sorry, my brain, my brain's still trying to catch up from this flipping Wemo thing. <laughs> that was cool. No, that was, was pretty good. I enjoyed it more than I enjoyed the Tesla. No. I like the fact oh. you don't have to talk to anybody and it just... Anyway, anyway. The Lou review is that um, they're really nice, really clean, they smell really nice, and um, yeah, they're like a, a really upscale bathroom. It's nice. Very nice. Well, there we go. And if we'd have gone to the main terminal, we'd have been there like two, three hours in advance, wouldn't we? And here you can just sort of rock up like the earliest of like an hour before, and you can get up like 30 minutes, 20, 30 minutes yeah, before usually. Yeah, we exactly. We were that early. We're not even on the departure screen yet over there. So, um, yeah. Anyway, we're going to grab a coffee. And there is free like, tea and coffee and drinks and stuff here. So we're going to grab a drink and sit and chill for a bit. And um, then wait for the plane to take us over to Vegas. Pretty soon it was time to head on over to the plane and get on our way to Las Vegas. Just in case we'll have a and a Great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that. As it turned out, the plane was parked right outside the lounge, so it was only a few steps for Rach to walk. JSX also offered a wheelchair and had pulled up a ramp to the plane to make it easier for her to get up onto the aircraft. Thank you very much. Where are you guys from? Uh, UK originally, okay. but um, we live in Houston, Texas now. So. Okay, because my family is from Manchester. Oh nice, so we're about an hour from Manchester where we, where we, we lived in England, so yeah. Okay, nice. So, yeah, awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Of course. We're in row one, B and C. Yeah. Perfect. So with those seats, I will have to put your bags in this closet here. Okay. okay. If there's anything you need for the flight, I recommend grabbing it out before. It is a quick flight. Okay. So just let me know and then I can put that in there as well. Perfect. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. All right then, welcome on board the JSX Embraer. I think this is a one, is this a 145? At all. Uh, it's, it's, it's an M. I think it's a one. Oh, it's a one three five. I think this one. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's an Embraer of some some sorts. Um, and um, yeah, so we are um, on board. It's in a one two configuration. Now JSX do have some um, Embraers that have a one one connection with a massive table at the side. But instead of my table, I've got Rich at the side of me. Yay! Much better than a table. Much nicer than a table. Yes. Um, and um, we're in row one. I think we'd originally booked seats right at the back, but they've sort of moved us to row one, which is nice. We've got a bit more leg room, so that's okay. We don't have we don't have that cool engine view out of the window that we had. So let me open that. We don't have that cool engine view out of there that we have in um, the back seats, but um, we have a bit more leg room anyway. We will do when they've moved our bags, um, which have got to go in the closet rather than under the seat in front of us because we don't have a seat in front of us. Yeah. What do you think to the whole JSX experience? So far, it's really, really good. I mean, uh, they put a ramp out and offered me a wheelchair all the way up. Um, but 
I managed to walk up the ramp, but that saved me climbing up the stairs, which is phenomenal. Yeah, it's nice. It's so really, much really nicer nice. than and some of the other bigger day. airlines. Yeah, I, I agree. I think for people with um, reduced mobility, this is really, really cool because there's nowhere to walk, really. You yeah. just literally just go into the room and then come out to the plane and it's it's just there straight away isn't it yeah and similar um, prices to other flights it's not a lot more than flying united i put the price at the end of the video um but um, it's just really nice yeah. and you get free drinks on board as well right we're going, to, we're going to partake as we're going to vegas absolutely Our route today then took us northwest out of Phoenix, direct on course to Las Vegas. Flight time today was 42 minutes, cruising at 28,000 feet. All right, then airborne from Phoenix heading to Las Vegas. About a 45-minute flight today, relatively short flight time today. Yeah, it's but it's lovely. Are you enjoying it? Yeah. Very nice, isn't it? Very, very comfy. Um, and we've got some. Um, well, it was a nice experience actually on the ground. Actually, it was. It was Phoenix. so nice. Uh, so so nice to me. Yeah, they were very good. Anyway, we've got about 45 minutes left to run now. I've got four flights running on here. Show me where we are. People keep asking me what that app is, by the way. It's four flight, um, and you can buy it, and it basically shows you where you are on a map. I use it when I'm flying the Cirrus, um, and it's always handy when you've got it on your iPad as well when you're flying commercially, um, which is really cool. By the way, my T-shirt. What do you think to my T-shirt, Rachel? What do you think to my T-shirt? Uh, I think it's a really cool t-shirt, we need to have some more. We do, don't we? Not, you don't think I look a bit sad and geeky with it? You always look sad and geeky. The t-shirt doesn't make or break that. Oh, thanks. This is a Texas International t-shirt. This is from Sky Shirts, by the way. Um, who really are cool set of guys. A really nice bunch of guys. Yeah, we met them down on, um, in Dallas, didn't we? We did. Um, we went to the airliners um, convention, Airliners International. Um, and um, yeah, you can um, pick up these t-shirts. They've got loads of different airplane t-shirts with your favorite planes and airlines on them. Really, really cool. This is Texas International. Of course, I'd be rocking the Texas look, seeing as though that's where we live now. Um, former airline, of course, of Texas, who got bought out by Continental in the um, early 80s and then effectively turned into the um, Houston hub for United um, in, in, in the end. So um, yeah, but yeah, check out Sky Shirts. I'll pop a link to them down in the description. But we are um, climbing out over the Arizona desert right now, heading north uh, towards Zephyr um, Waypoint, and then we're going to make a left turn across towards Vegas. Um, we are estimating an arrival in about 40 minutes from now. JSX include free alcoholic drinks on their flights as well, or as many as you can drink in a 40-minute flight at least. So one of the cool things about flying on JSX, aside from that really cool ground experience, is we get drinks, drinky poos on the flight. What are you going for? A vodka and diet coke. Vodka and diet coke. Have one for rum and diet coke. That's very nice. Very nice. It's like an old Vegas trip in style, eh? Exactly. We've had a busy few days and this is nice. It has been, been crazy busy, but yeah, <laughs> it's nice to relax for 45 minutes anyway until the madness starts again when we get on the ground into uh, Vegas. Ooh. Now, whenever I'm traveling, one of the most essential tools in my travel arsenal is my noise cancelling headphones. And over the years, I've gone through a ton of them. I've had everything from cheap ones to super expensive ones and often been surprised how the price doesn't necessarily collaborate with how good they are. Now Soundcore is a brand I've been a fan of for a long time and they've just brought out their brand new Soundcore Space One noise cancelling headphones. Now usually noise cancelling headphones are great for cancelling steady noise like aircraft engines but pretty much useless at cancelling out talking or even worse screaming babies on your overnight flight. But Soundcore Space One headphones have two times stronger voice reduction technology to cancel even the most intrusive noises. Also with their adaptive noise cancelling ANC technology, Space One can adjust to the best noise reduction level according to the surroundings in real time. 
They're super comfy too with rotatable ear cups to fit even my massive ears. And unlike more expensive brands, they don't cost hundreds for a pair of headphones. Space One's less than $100, meaning they won't break the bank either. Space One's high-res wireless audios enhanced my every journey. Now pick up your own pair of Soundcore Space Ones at the link in the description today. And it wasn't too long at all before we were starting our descent down into the Las Vegas area and we got the great view over Lake Mead as we commenced our approach into Harry Reid International Airport. JSX building at the airport, it wasn't too far at all to drive down the strip to our hotel at the top end of the strip. Hi and welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada. Conrad Hotel, um, there is, there's a view out of the window. Wow, this is the 50th floor, we're a long way up. Um, that we are here where we're going to be for a couple of days now. So um, we're going to enjoy some of the sights of Vegas and then later on we're going to get on board another JSX flight somewhere else. All right, well, what else do you do when you come to Las Vegas but go to a concert? We do. Um, so we're off downstairs. Who are we going to see? Tell everybody who we're going to see. We're going to see the legend, Carrie me. Underwood. Oh, Carrie Underwood. She's here as well, is she? I thought everyone was coming to see me. No, not today. Okay, not today. Um, we're off to see Carrie Underwood play live in concert, just just downstairs here at the Resorts World place in Las <laughs> Vegas. Um, and it's only just downstairs, so we're going to go down and enjoy the concert. And um, so, shall we go downstairs? Whoop, whoop. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, we're ready for the concert. Absolutely. We're here at Carrie Underwood. Excited? Beyond excited. It's going to be awesome. Enjoy Carrie Underwood last night. Oh, it was phenomenal. It was great, wasn't it? A good time. She was amazing. She's very, she's very good live, very good show. Very good show. Shame I couldn't put any of the actual music in, otherwise, we get massively the money time for this video. But hey, if not, copyright struck down to infinity. But um, anyway, our flight with JSX is leaving in about sort of seven hours from now. We haven't really got much to do in the meantime, so I've booked us a car. We're going to go and have a bit of an explore before we head back to the airport and get our next JSX flight out of here. But sadly, this was where our trip took an unexpected turn for the worst. Right, um, well, it's just gone 11 p.m. Um, and I'm still here in Vegas, we're both still here in Vegas, you might notice I'm in a different hotel now. Um, and Rachel's not here, because um, I've just got back from the hospital. We um, went to an attraction called the Zach Bacon's Haunted Museum in Vegas, which is, I don't know if you've seen Ghost Adventures, but it's a TV show and Zach Bacon's is the host. He runs like this museum full of like supposedly haunted artifacts and um, possessed 
dolls and all this sort of stuff. And about halfway round, Rach felt like a stabbing pain in her like stomach, that sort of down here, um, in one of the rooms there. <sighs> anyway, she felt this pain down the side, thought nothing more of it, come out, and um, she was um, sick. Um, she was sick three times. We said, right, you know what, let's get you in the car, let's see if I head into the airport and getting back to at least so we can go and just relax at the airport for a little bit. Um, we got her in the car, started heading towards the airport and Rach collapsed um, in the passenger seat of the car and um, it was it was scary, it was really scary. Um, we were about four or five blocks away from an urgent care, I just plugged, plugged it into the sat nav. We drove to this urgent care Rachel was completely unresponsive at the side of me. The scariest, sort of, one of the scariest moments of my life, really, as she's at the side of me, not responding. We get to urgent care. I jump out, the staff come running out to try and help her. They called um, 911 and an ambulance came and took her to the emergency room. Um, and I followed in the car. We get down there. Um, she gets some morphine inside of her. She's um, and then she starts sort of coming round, thankfully, and starts waking up um, with the intense stabbing pains in her stomach. She said it's like the most horrific pain she's ever had. And there's some scans on her, CT scans, and the works on her in the hospital. They've kept her in overnight tonight. We were supposed to be flying um, on JSX tonight. Out of here, clearly that didn't happen because we're now here and I'm in a hotel um, tomorrow morning. I'm heading back to the hospital. Um, and they're going to tell us what they're going to do, whether they're going to operate on it. It's 11, well, quarter past 11 now. Tomorrow um, morning, I'm going to head down back to the hospital. We're going to try and figure out, spend the day there with her, and we'll see if they're going to do any procedures. She may be out tomorrow. It may be the day after, um, depending on when they can fit her into the theatre to get her in, to get um, whatever it is that she needs doing. So, um, yeah. Okay, night two, just got back to the hotel. They have confirmed that she's got pancreatitis um, caused by gallstones and basically they've got to remove her gallbladder. Again, we don't really know what's going on right now until she's basically spoken to the surgeons over the next couple of days and they've figured out when they can get her in. So, still here in Vegas. All right, it is day four now. It's Monday morning, Rachel went in on Friday. She just called me this morning to say that they are about to take her down for surgery at 8 o'clock. So that is where I'm off now. It's early morning, 7am or something, here in Vegas. Really awkward this week. It's holiday week here, it's 4th of July tomorrow, Tuesday. And as a result, Vegas is just rammed with people and the flights out of here as well are just like crazy at the minute. So um, we've really been struggling a little bit to try and get some flights home and also to kind of know when to book because we don't really know when she's coming out yet. All right, so Rachel's just come back from a surgery. It's lunchtime, so she had it first thing this morning. Literally went running into the hospital to see her this morning and they were already taking her down. They met me outside the lift as they were going down. So they took her down first thing. She's had a surgery, it's all gone well, which is amazing. She's awake, she's had a little bit of something to eat as well. So yeah, it's, it's going good. Update on our situation about going home. We've been absolutely touched by so many messages from people offering to help out and stuff while we've been here. You, you, like We've got prayers from every deity around the world, I think after Rage at the minute. Thank you so much guys for all of your support. We really, both of us truly, truly appreciate it. And Rach, every time she's looking through her phone, she's seeing all the messages and stuff and she's really like, just over the moon. It's really helping to say thank you. One of the messages we had in was from um, JSX, funnily enough, the airline. We actually started this video with like a while ago, I can't even remember, last week at some point. And they have, um, despite the fact that they're fully booked on all their flights this week, they've been holiday week, and they've offered a couple of um, standby seats on one of their flights back to Dallas for Rach so that she doesn't have to worry about going through all the airports and stuff, having just um, had an operation and stuff obviously. So they've offered very kindly um, to get us back to Dallas. As, as you know I wouldn't normally look at taking free seats from airlines, um, it's kind of just not what I do really, I've never really done it before. However, there, I have a bit of an exception to that rule if it's going to help get us out of a situation and help, help Rach get back so I'm thinking it's just so kind of them to offer. I think we might take them up on that offer um, if they can get us a seat back to Dallas. Hey, 
Um, United have cancelled all their flights at the minute pretty much. There's like, <laughs> it's chaos in the skies and JSX have very kindly offered to get us back home and get us those standby seats which is crucially the thing because we wouldn't be able to get them otherwise so um yeah we'll see how that goes anyway i'm gonna head back inside to see rach all right then look who's back at the hotel hey. how are you doing um i'm getting there oh yeah 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 i did it on purpose um i'm getting there so you got back yesterday to the hotel yeah um after your surgery yeah tell everybody what's happened um i had to have uh, my gallbladder out. You're in. You're doing all right now. You're just in a bit of pain. Yeah. I'm struggling a bit. We're flying home today. Yes. So I decided to take JSX up on their very kind offer because for a start, United is still screwed this week. It's holiday week. Their flights are all cancelled and everything. It's a nightmare. We need to get back to Texas. JSX are full, or they were full, they've managed to pull in a couple of seats for us on a flight back to Dallas today, and then they've sorted us out a car to get us back from us to drive back from Dallas to Houston. There is a flight from Dallas to Houston, but it leaves sort of 10 minutes after we arrive, and they don't think there's gonna be enough time for us to get that flight. So we don't think that we'll be flying back, we think we'll be driving back from Dallas to Houston later. But thank you very much to JSX for Yeah, thank you so much. And, and thank you to everyone who's oh, been sending in the thousands and thousands of messages uh, yeah. supporting Noel while I was in hospital and, you. And, and supporting me as well. Supporting so you. we really appreciate it. It's and we have tried to read each and every one. We have read them. We might not have had time to reply to them, but we have definitely re um, read each one. Yeah. Them. And um, it means so much to us. It really does. So yeah, let's um, get these bags packed. Let's head to the airport and let's, um, head, let's get back to Texas. Yeah. I've had enough now. We've been here too long now, haven't we, in Vegas? Yeah, you've had nearly an extra week. We've had a week here in Vegas, yeah. We should have only been here for one night. Two nights. Two nights, I can't remember. It's that yeah. long ago, that was last week. All right, on our way to the airport, on back to JSX. So you're glad to be getting the same way to Vegas? I am, it's been it's been great. And um, it's, you know, they the, did the, the surgery and everything, so. Um, I'm dead grateful for that, but I want to go home to my family. Yeah, it's, it's been tough this week, hasn't it? Yeah. Yes. And so, a little more than a week later than we'd originally planned, we were heading back to the airport to the JSX hangar to get our flight back to Texas. Security swap. Yeah, of course. Go for it. Oh, we got wheelchairs. Is that okay? It's just, yeah. Are you okay with stairs, or you just need it for distance? Yeah, just had surgery, so okay. if we can get me a good chance of then playing that would be great. And you're okay with stairs? Uh, I'm going to struggle with stairs. Okay, get around. Easy peasy. We don't want to cause problems. <laughs> no, no, no. Are you kidding? No, 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 no. You guys are all good. IDs. Perfect. Boarding passes Thank you for very you. much. I'm going to tag that luggage. You will see it again plain side in Dallas. Lovely. Thank you, you very much. Relax there. There's also coffee, tea, water, hot chocolate in that machine right there for Perfect. you. That's okay. wonderful. And Thank you very much. And bathrooms are just on the other side of the wall. Lovely. Thank you. Oh, you guys have a great flight. And we'll get that wheelchair. We'll pre-board and get you up. We'll Thank you. So yeah. kind of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, then, I'll check in for JSX, um, the flight across to Dallas. Um, drop the bags off. This is the sort of um, lounge area here at um, Vegas that they've got. They've got their own hangar, so just through those windows there um, is where the planes are obviously stored and maintained and stuff, and then they park them out on the ramp out the front. Um, it's quite a nice plane, it's a place. It's a bit like an airport lounge, really. Um, this is the cool thing about JSX. You basically come straight from the curb into this facility and then straight to the plane. There's no security, there's no walking three miles through an airport and dodging prowls or anything like that. It's just straight in, straight out. It's quite nice. Um, and then they're quite nice planes as well as we saw before. I think we've got an Embraer 145 today, which is in a bit of a different seat config um, to the one we came over on. So that'll be nice to see what that's like. We're leaving pretty soon and getting on our way back to um, Dallas. It's not too hot today. Last it's cooled a little bit. It's, yeah, yeah it's been mental. Just grab that step, there's a little step there, just be careful for you. Are you alright if I get in the front? Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay in the front, yeah, I can ride on the back, yeah. Thank you. 
Then we're on board the JSX Embraer 145. You see, it's in a bit of a different config. The 145 did a 1 1 with this beautiful little area here, much more spacious. And they've given Rachel some flowers. Look, you got some flowers, Ducky, and a card. Oh, I have. Absolutely beautiful. What do you think so far to this plane? Is it a bit nicer than the one that we came over on, the 135? It, it is. It's definitely more spacious. Um, I'm emotional. I'm really glad to be going home. Yeah, it's been tough, hasn't it? We'll be home soon, another couple of hours, yeah? We'll be home. As we taxied out to the runway, we had a mix of emotions. We were excited to finally be on our way home, but equally we'd both been shaken up emotionally by what happened in Vegas. We were both, however, more than anything, looking forward to getting home and hugging the kids, who Rachel's parents had been looking after since we left for Las Vegas over a week before. Alright then, airborne from Vegas, finally headed home after our extended stay there. Oh, it's been a tough few days. We're just so grateful that we're actually able to get on a plane and get back to Texas, even if we've got a bit of a drive when we get to the other end, really. Um, but it's a beautiful day for flying today. There's my view out the window. Um, we're just kind of about to, we're just over northern Arizona at the moment. We just um, crossed the sort of end of the Grand Canyon. Unfortunately, we couldn't really see it, it was sort of underneath us, but um, we've sort of flying to the south of the Grand Canyon across northern Arizona at the minute. Sort of Flagstaff, I think, is out the window in a minute. Uh, then we're going to head across towards Albuquerque and then shooting on down to um, Texas to get back into Texas. Um, we just want to get home. <laughs> I, I like Vegas. I like Vegas a lot, but this has been just one of the toughest trips I've ever taken, really. Um, and we're just looking forward to getting back to the family, really. And that's something that um, we're really pleased that JSX have been able to help us with today. So with this being a longer flight with JSX, they um, actually come around and give you a bit of a snack box. And um, that's what we've got, cheese, apple, and a bit of fruit and some nuts as well. Um, it's about a two hour run. This is one of their longer runs, like I say, across to um, Dallas from Las Vegas. We were not expecting to be taking this flight for obvious reasons. We were actually originally planning to go on to LA and on the way to the airport to get to LA, that's obviously when everything went south um, with Rach, bless her, but she's um, not doing too bad at the minute. She's um, sat there just chilling out a bit, enjoying the flight, I think. Um, I'm trying to pest, try not to pester her too much because I know it's a lot for her to uh, be flying uh, just a couple of days after her surgery, but we're just both looking forward to getting back to um, Texas now, even though we've got a bit of a drive when we get back to Dallas, um, down to Houston. Um, that's okay, we can take that at our own pace sort of thing and we'll be home within a couple of hours of um, landing hopefully so um, yeah <sighs> just glad that the last few days are behind us and we're actually heading home now it's been a tough one And after a flight time of around two hours, we started our final approach down into Dallas Loverfield Airport.
And so we were back on the ground in Texas, immensely grateful that we'd made it back after the events of the previous few days, and grateful to JSX for helping us get home when it seemed almost impossible with the other airlines. We were also so beyond grateful to every single person who messaged us through Instagram, Facebook and YouTube, offering words of support and everything from rides around Las Vegas to DoorDash deliveries. We appreciate every single one of you and we're so lucky to have such an absolutely incredible community of viewers watching these videos. Thank you. All right, we are back in Texas. Woo! Um, and we've we, uh, we landed sort of literally as the Houston flight was leaving so unfortunately we couldn't get the Houston flight um, but they have sorted us out with the car to get back down to Dallas um, no, sorry to get back down to Houston um, which is where we live yes remember where you live um, Noli um, but yeah JSX uh, what can I say they have been absolutely phenomenal for us haven't they yeah they have been they've gone above and beyond they've just been so amazing and I can't thank them enough. Seriously, the, the same. Um, you know, I like JSX anyway. They're a nice airline. Um, and I know we wouldn't normally take a um, like a free flight off somebody um, unless there was no other option. Unfortunately, in this case, there wasn't really any other option, was there? Because there was barely any seats. Um, the guy at JSX was telling us that um, United have basically taken a lot of their capacity with them um, with them having so many problems at the minute so that's why there's barely any seats left on JSX um, but yeah here we are but they got us back um, and we, we truly truly appreciate it go check them out um, they're an amazing airline I, I, even, even if they hadn't have um, given us a flight back to Dallas I think I would still be saying they're an amazing airline they were really good yeah and they went above and beyond for me as well you know um making sure that there was a ramp up to the plane making sure that there was wheelchairs you know bless them that even put some flowers and a card on there for me they yeah. didn't need to do all that they, did they? no they didn't they they were just amazing so thank you so much yeah thank you jsx and thanks ben and all the team there at jsx as well you're all just an amazing airline um i really hope that at some point JSX start flying more from Houston and um, connecting I mean I'm just imagining at the end of all these big trips I do if I could get a flight from um, JFK or from LA straight back to Houston on JSX would that not be amazing oh, like, it'd be a great end to the trip um, for positioning flights and stuff even just getting around the country they are amazing um, so go check them out um, we've got about a just short of a three hour drive now back down to home north of Houston so that's what we're doing now um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought to JSX down in the comments. And um, yeah, in the meantime, I'll let you say it, Rach. Seeing as you're the star of this video. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye for now.